Hi, this is Brian Barty, three location program manager here at Fort Riley, Kansas, home of the Big Red One. Hey, we're coming to you today live from the Custer Hill Aquatic Park that's going to fix it. It's fixing to open up on 26 May. So we're here just to give you a little preview of what you what's in store for you coming up in the future. Um, but before we head to that, I want to remind everybody, if you have any questions, you have any comments or things you would like to see on our show, please let us know so we can definitely get those out to you uh, and answer all your questions. That's what we're here to do. Uh, Fort Riley has so much to do around this local area and uh, and in the Flint Hills region. So please, if you're coming here, check out our websites. See what we're always that's all that's out there offered. If nothing else, just get out of your house and drive. There's plenty to do around this area. Milford Lake is huge. Um, now, we're here talking about the, the swimming pool for the soldiers. We'll talk a little bit more about that at the obviously at the very end too. Tell you a little bit more stuff about it. But every housing area here at Fort Riley all have swimming pools very nice community centers and swimming pools so again we have the lake is four miles from fort riley then we have we have swimming pools in all the communities but this this swimming pool this aquatic park is specially made just for the soldiers so and for people who live off post and can't get into one of the community centers so again this is for you but before we go there let's uh let me turn it over now to uh taylor to tell you a little bit more about what's coming up for people here at fort riley taylor. Hi, I'm Taylor. I'm the Special Events Coordinator. I just wanted to fill you in on some things we've got coming to close out the month of May for you. Uh, tomorrow, stop by the Warrior Zone between 11 and 2 and pick up some barbecue. Uh, on Sunday, again at the Warrior Zone, we've got cars and coffee. Come out and talk to some car enthusiasts uh, from 11 to 2 as well. And then again, uh, at Arts and Crafts, we've got Parent and Child Art. They're going to be doing stamping card activity. That's going to be from 1.30 to 4. Uh, Boss Barbecue, it's going to be our second of the season. It's at the 1st Brigade Headquarters building, 11.30 to 1 p.m. That's free food for single soldiers, so please come on out. Um, we're going to close out the month with our summer reading program kickoff party at the library. That's going to be from 1 to 3 p.m., so make sure to bring your kids out. And then we've got a fun-filled, packed summer for you, so be sure to check out our Port Riley MWR Facebook page as well as riley.armymwr.com. Awesome. Thank you so much. Hey, before we go there, you know, if you watched our show last year, when we did the swimming pool, the aquatic park here. Um, yeah, they dunked me, they pushed me in. It, it was a rude awakening for me. So luckily today, I have some wonderful volunteers. Their spouse is here at Fort Riley. So if you're a spouse coming here, we have great volunteer opportunities for you. But our spouses have volunteered to get wet today. So some of us old people don't have to worry about it. So as we go along, they're gonna demonstrate some of these things for us. So now let's move along and let's see what this aquatic park is all about. We're gonna move out here to Miss Hattie, and she's gonna tell us all about what we have. Hello, Fort Riley community, and welcome to your Custer Hill Aquatic Park. Um, as most of you know, we opened this facility last June. We are excited to open it for a full season this year. And what I'd like to do is just go ahead and walk around the facility and show what we have to offer you. Right now, we got Miss Shelby going up on our 15-foot aqua climbing wall. The purpose of this is to see how high you can get and how quickly you can get up there. Once you get up to the top, take a smack up on the highest part and jump. It's going to be a while before she gets back to the top, I think. So let's go awesome ahead. Awesome job, Shelby. <laughs> Great job, Shelby. One thing I'd like to mention on our aqua climbing wall, uh, we want to make sure that we do not have any um, Life jackets, make sure that all of our swimmers can independently jump off the top and swim to the side. Once we get through the aqua climbing wall, we're gonna make it over here to our 30 foot double flume slide. You'll see that this slide exits into five feet of water. So once again, we wanna make sure that our, all of our patrons that go down can exit into the pool and independently swim. And look, the there's slide. a lifeguard right over here. Say hi, Ryan. Some quick rules of our double flume slide. We only have two swimmers go on at a time, one on the green, one on the blue. Again, no flotate or no life jackets or other flotation devices are allowed to go down. Um, no catching, which means parents, we're not gonna allow for you to be able to catch your children at the end. That's just a safety issue. We also ask that we do not have any t-shirts, masks or goggles for eye protection. And then when we go down the slide, please make sure you slide down feet first. No head first or flipping around in the flume. So once you get through the slide, we're taking it over to our water channel. We've got moving water here at Custer and we have a lot of fun with it. Girls, how's the water? Nice. <laughs> Too hot. Too hot. 
Awesome. So a couple of things to remember on the water channel. When you get in, we're going to have you enter and exit right here. Can you get over there, Brian? I'm awesome. getting there. There you go. There we go. Now, can you tell us about, I mean, this thing don't get up to like 100 miles an hour, does it? No, this is not uh, your wash machine. <laughs> But the jets are strong enough that it is going to move you into a current going in a circle. You can go out into the middle right here where you can chill out for a little bit. We just ask that you not set up on the sides because that's where our guards are at. Um, when you are in the water channel, you want to make sure that you swim with the flow of the water. We don't want you going against the current. Here's a couple. Here's our uh, water channel rules. Again, access at river entrance only. Please do not enter the pool on the side. Um, patrons must follow direction of the current. Only staff approved flotation devices allowed. And as always throughout the facility, follow the rules and directions of lifeguards at all times. Hey, also, this is also the place they're gonna have to lay out and hang out. But look, look how such a beautiful day we have here in Kansas. So again, you're coming here, it's in the mid 70s, a beautiful day. Oh, when you come here, don't. it's not too hot, not too cold, it's a beautiful place. So when you decide to lay out in your lounge chairs, folks, we just ask that you keep it 10 feet from the side of the pool. Again, for safety reasons, we've got plenty of grass area. We've got plenty of deck. And as we continue from the water channel, we've got our zero depth entry. This is going to be a wonderful place for us to have our swim lessons this year. All swim lesson registration will go through central registration. We have our first session of swim lessons beginning June 5th. Please have your child enrolled with central registration. You can sign up on WebTrack or again, call your central registration office. This is a beautiful, beautiful, large, very, very large swimming pool. How far is it? This is 50 meters. 50 meters. We got the high dive. That is a three meter springboard. You must be at least 13 years of age to go off of that. We've got the one meter board that is open to all of our patrons who can independently again, make it to the side of the pool. Um, no life jackets, and we've got our basketball goal, which our soldiers have a lot of fun with. We will also have three lap lanes in for our lap swimmers. So for all of our phys physical fitness folks, we have something here for you as well. Okay, kids, you tell us now about coming in here about some of the prices that, that the soldiers might have to pay to get in. Absolutely. Soldiers, um, the daily entry fee is $5. For a single pool pass, I for the season pass, I want to say it's $100. Go to our website or Facebook page and we'll definitely have those um, prices set for you. Our family pool passes for the season, which I would like to mention, it goes through the end of September. So September 30th, not September 3rd, which is Labor Day. Um, our daily operational hours, 11 to 8, we extended those. Family pool passes, $150. Mom, dad, your kids, good to go. Lots of usage for it. And this uh, shallow water entry will also have a toddler slide that will be out for our little ones to use as well. Life jackets, that comes to be a lot of questions about. If you do not have a life jacket, our aquatic staff has them available for you. Parents, remember that if your child is in a life jacket, we want to make sure that you are in the water within arm's reach of them. We allow two kiddos per parent in uh, life jackets, that's the ratio. As we continue on to our baby pool area, we wanna make sure that when your child is in the baby pool, you parents, guardians are in the uh, area as well with them. <clears throat> Excuse me. As we continue along, we're gonna keep walking down. We've got a fantastic area for our splash pad and we've got a cabana that is available for rent. It is $25 per hour if you wanna take a look right here. This is fantastic for your pool parties that can go on during normal operating hours. If you would like to bring food in, you're more than welcome to do so. Obviously no alcoholic beverages. Um, if you would like to make a reservation, you can call our office at 239-4854 or 239-9441. We have the facility um, available for private rental as well. It is $225 for two hours, up to 50 people. Um, again, call those same numbers and we can get those reservations taken care of for you. Oh, look, I think we found Shelby again. <laughs> All right, Shelby's in our splash pad area. We are still working to turn it on. It'll be ready to go this Memorial Day weekend. Um, when the 
When your kiddos are down here, again, parents, make sure that you are down here with them. They need to be supervised at all times. We do not have a lifeguard down here. You are their number one source for safety. Um, some of the safety rules here, we don't want any running. Um, again, parents, be with your kiddos. No glass for obvious reasons. Um, if your child is not potty trained, make sure that they have a swim diaper on or the elastic pants that has the, or the plastic pants that has the elastic around the waist and their uh, legs. Um, if you do not have those, we will have them here available for sale as well. And that's what we have going on up here at Custer Hill Aquatic Park. Again, we're gonna be operational 11 to eight daily, opening Saturday, May 26th. Okay, that's awesome. Thank you so much, Hattie, for showing us around here today. I mean, this is absolutely a very, very beautiful place. May 26th, can I stress that enough? Also, if you'll turn real quick, you would, uh, and show, right, we're right next door to the bowling alley. So the, you come up on the hill, you're driving down Normandy Drive, you have the swimming pool and you have the bowling alley right here side by side. So you can probably knock out two birds with one stone just by showing up to the pool. Do this and then go over there for supper or something. Okay, uh, join us in two weeks from now where we're gonna be with the uh, Child and Youth Services. We would love, we're gonna tell us all about what they have to offer us. Uh, they're lo always looking for coaches to uh, for the summer of youth sports. And if you, if you wanna do that, you come to Fort Riley, you wanna be a coach, talk to those guys. They'll run you through the background checks and get you up out there to be a coach for all the all the kids here on Fort Riley. It's a great opportunity for you to give back to the community. Um, and we definitely need the coaches for sure. Uh, referees can get paid to be a referee here. So if you wanna be a referee, get certified, come out there and referee games in the local communities and get paid to do it. So again, oh, and get talking about getting paid, lifeguards. Lifeguards getting paid? They work for free. I like that. No, no. we have a fantastic, <laughs> fantastic staff this year we are super excited to say that we have more lifeguards this year than what we've had in a very long time um, that is why we're able to extend our hours we are able to extend um, our season um, we have a fantastic team and we're just really excited to get everyone out here and have a wonderful and safe summer here at the new aquatic park okay Did there, was there any questions Maddie that came through with the... uh, yes so um, someone asked if they buy a season pass with no kids, uh, would they be able to bring their husband or will he need his own pass as well? It would be better for them to get a family pass or to go ahead and give us a call, 239-4854, um, and we can um, check into that for them to see what best option would be available for them. Okay. Hey, please keep the questions coming. If you have any suggestions for future uh, videos that you want to see out there, let us know. We get them all the time from people, and we'll do our best to get the videos on for you as well. Okay? Because we want you to know the most updated information about Fort Riley. That's what this is all about, is providing you the updated information. So please, keep them coming. We love them. Um, all right. I want to throw a real quick shout out to our first responders that keep Fort Riley a great place to live, train, deploy from, and come home to where there is no mission too difficult or no sacrifice too great, duty first. Service always.